candidates of the Federal House of Representatives in Anambra State yesterday at the Professor Dora Akwinili Women Development Center, Oka, showcased their capability and expressed themselves to their constituents for assessment as they go to pool come February 25th, 2023. They were assessed through Anambra Political Dialogue, the May's debate, jointly organized by Nigerian Union of Journalists, Anambra State Council, and Radio, Television, Theatre and Art Workers Union in collaboration with Society for Equity, Justice and Peace and Bring It On Africa. Correspondent Imano Chibata again completes the report. The debate streamed live via Anambra Broadcasting Service and other news channels created opportunities for the masses to evaluate the policies, preparedness and demeanor of those who seek to govern them. Top on the maiden debate were six candidates which were Professor Lilian Orobu of the Labour Party, Honorable Kingsley Yamado of the Young Progressive Party, Prince Chinedu Ekunife of the Social Democratic Party and Honorable Emeka Igwe of the PDP, all vying for House of Representatives, Oka North and South Federal Constituency. A lot of your orientation has to be brought in into our constituents. That is one of the things we want to do. I will say we have a fundamental problem in Nigeria. And the problem is such that we have more politicians in the polity than leaders. The absence of leaders in the political space is what brings the conflict of interest between the, the legislators, the executive, and others. Others are Valentine Anyeka of the Zenith Labour Party and Prince Emeka Eze of the People's Democratic Party, both vying for Dunukofia, Njikoka, and Anosha Federal Constituency. I do feel that post-election matters should extend to the Supreme Court. Because the Supreme Court has The auditorium for the debate was filled to capacity by the party's supporters as the debaters addressed core issues on economic growth, security, new naira design and catch swap, gender-based violence, education and constituency projects. The debaters shared their insights on how Nigeria can sustainably grow and assured of equity, justice and fairness if elected to serve their constituents. They pledged to work with the state governor to actualize the vision of a secured and prosperous homeland. The debate, which lasted for hours, was moderated by a staff of the ABS and the Vice President, Radio, Television, Theatre and Art Workers Union, Ratau Southeast Zone, Prince Emeka Kalu Emmanuel Shibata for ABS News.